Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Marcus from Team Takeover, aka TCG Discussions, and today I'm coming at you with a deck profile of Mono Yellow Ginyu. Um, I say Mono Yellow, and I really mean no black cards, or nothing, just pure Mono Yellow. Um, and the, one of the reasons why I decided to do this is because I noticed that there are a lot of multicolor decks out there, and not a lot of people are profiling just like one color decks. They may not be better, I know, I know. But I kind of want to give you guys a very good deck that I think is a cheap, affordable option. I think this deck might cost you $30 in total to make. Um, and it's called Bloodlust deck, which is always good. Um, and as always, huge shout outs to P2 Collectibles for about the competition. And uh, shout outs to Team Takeover. So uh, without further ado, let's get into the deck profile. Um, so this is Ginyu, if you don't know what he does. He allows you to basically look at, uh, flip a card over in your life. And if it's a Ginyu Force card, uh, you play it, and if it's not, you add it to your hand. So like this, this Cold Blood Loss would come to my hand, and basically you uh, you basically get to either play battle cards for free, or you get to add cards that uh, could be helpful to you down the line, um, and that is just super awesome. And then at four or less life, you can draw two cards to flip this card over. And this card, <laughs> Awakened, in my opinion, is probably like the fourth best leader in the game. Like it probably has to be like the third or fourth best leader. The, there's many reasons why. One, his other side self awakens, which is automatically good. The second one is that you can add a card from your life again on this side to give this card double strike. So it's 15K double strike. And if you have two or more Ginyu Force cards at, in play, this card gains an extra 5,000 attack, like Soul Strike or Goku during your turn. And when it swings, it draws a card. So it, it does a lot of things, and that's just super good. Like anything that, any leader that can just get up to 20K, become double strike, and draw a card when it attacks, it's just, it's gotta be good. And so, um, and the fact that it's also yellow means it can play Cold Bloodlust, which is just crazy. And uh, I absolutely love this card. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get into the deck profile. Uh, so starting off with the card that I've shown already twice in this video called Bloodlust. Uh, we play this card. It's absolutely amazing. If your leader card is Frieza Army card, uh, the uh, the battle card has its skill. Like, yeah, the battle card, like the card that's coming into play has its skill negated. I, it's just absolutely crazy. Um, in this deck, this card negating an effect is enough to give you enough advantage to win the game. Like, that's how crazy strong this deck can get. Um, and I'll get into more of that in a second. Um, next, we play four of the Sorbet, the Loyal Commander. This card is also insane. Um, it is a blocker. It is a one-cost blocker that um, allows you to discard your uh, a card from your hand once per battle. Place a card from your hand to the drop area. Look at the top two cards of your deck and choose up to two Frieza Army cards um, among them, so among the top two cards, you can then choose two Frieza Army cards, which we run like an entire deck of Frieza Army minus the extra card that is Cold Bloodlust. And then you combo with it. Whatever it is, you just combo with it, which is just crazy. Um, and that, that can either like make pushes really, really big or really, really small. But either way, like it's super duper good. And uh, Sorbet is just super awesome. Um, and the fact that he's also a blocker is just very annoying. Zero cost, 5k combo fodder. Just crazy. Um, next, we play four Avenging Frieza. Um, this card should never miss, basically, because it adds a Frieza Army card. You choose, uh, when you play it, you look at the top three cards of your deck, add a Frieza Army card um, that is two or less. Uh, you got to make sure you get that in there. That is two or less. And that hits a lot of Ginyu Force cards. Um, and uh, when we get to the Ginyu Reliable Captain, which I'll explain here in a minute, um, that can be really broken. And this card just being another 5k combo boost for the later shotgun, where defense is pretty good. And then we play for Gildo. Uh, this card's pretty good. Uh, when it comes into play, it can uh, tap a card that has two energy uh, costs or less. And so basically it goes from active mode to rest mode. And to top it off, it's another blocker, which is just kind of crazy. Zero cost, uh, 5k combo. Um, <laughs> next is four of probably my favorite Ginyu Force card in here, Birder. Um, the reason why is because when this card attacks, it stands itself, which means that it can be like it can attack, do, and serve whatever purpose it's going to serve. And then um, it can then proceed to be combo fodder, which I really like. Next, we play four uh, Ginyu Force Raccoon. 
this card is pretty great. Um, I, you know, I've come to appreciate this card. I'm talking to a friend who also plays a version of this deck. He's going to appreciate this card. Um, and the reason is because after you attack and do your shenanigans on your opponent's turn, this can't, thing gets uh, plus 6,000 power, which means if they're like unawakened or swinging of the 10k, to kill this card, they would basically need to use a 10k boost or two 5k combos. And again, zero cost 5k. Pretty good. And then four of the obligatory uh, zero cost 10k boost, the Doria, the Emperor's Attendant. Um, this card is absolutely crazy, and it has really good synergy with uh, Sorbet because basically what happens is on Sorbet's effect, when you combo with this card, you get to draw off of it, which is pretty nice. And then um, uh, Ginyu Force Jice. Uh, basically, uh, this card is just also crazy. It's a 10k blocker, which is kind of crazy. And when it comes into play, you look at the top three cards of your deck and then choose a Ginyu Force card among them that is not Ginyu and then play it. And um, However, there is one thing that's pretty fair about this. Um, this card's effect, so like, let's say I flip this card over uh, to use his effect. Uh, when Jace comes into play, it would not activate because it did not come from man. So just uh, to be sure that you guys know about that, if you're considering playing this card, which I highly recommend you do. Um, and the fact that he's a blocker and another zero cost 5k combo is insane. Uh, next we play uh, four... Destructive Occupation Frieza. I love this card. I love this card. I love this card. Um, for offensive defensive purposes, like I just, you know, if I have like four energy and I have like two of it in hand, like a combo and then like a combo and then I'm just getting more offense and then I get to use it defensively to protect myself and um, it gives me another offensive push and pressure. So I, I really like this card. I think it's super good. And then uh, four of the Backbone, 100%. Um, this card is the best card in the deck. It is the backbone. I do not understand why this promo specifically, maybe because people are not playing the deck, is so cheap, but it is pretty cheap. I think it's like $4. Um, it is permanent, so all Ginyus in my hand gain evolution, which there is a Ginyu, another Ginyu card that we play in the deck. And it gains the evolution of three yellow cost energy for specified cost and two other energy. And when you play this card, choose any number of Ginyu Force cards from your hand other than Ginyu and play them for free just vomit them to the field this card is insane it's also zero cost 5k it is a turn three playable card that is 15k attack and vomits every Ginyu force card from your hand to the field if you drop three Jices, you get three Jices. like that's just how it works and uh yeah this card is insane I super love it a lot, um, and it's really, really strong in this deck. Um, four of the Powerful Bond Ginyu Force. A lot of people are kind of hesitant to play this card at four. Um, I think that this is a more practical card to play over four of the uh, bigger Ginyu, and I'll explain my reasoning uh, for that here this card um gets its effect whether you combo with it or play it so you can either play it uh for the four card and two specified yellow so that four energy or you can combo with it and it gets this effect and that effect purely is is that all of your guinea force cards in play become plus five thousand so whenever i attack like let's say i attack with this card and then i combo with this then all of my guinea force cards gain an extra five thousand attack which is super good um, it, it, it's because this card is an, a combo fodder, it's easier to play and get it off. However, that being said, you can only use this skill once per turn. And uh, as well as this card becomes Ginyu, um, Jice, Birder, Raccoon, and Gildo. So you cannot use it off of this, thing's, uh, this leader's effect. And uh, so it will not come out, it will go to your hand, but then you'll have it to combo with later when you're trying to shock on your opponent. Um, and then four of the, like, uh, like the finisher on top of finishers, like that's what this card is. Um, this card has dual attack. Uh, it's Mecha Freeze of the Returning Terror. It has dual attack. When you play this card, you may place one card from your hand to the drop area. And it, if you, if you do so, uh, choose up to two cards that are, uh, rested, um, and KO those cards, then this card gains double strike for the turn. So it's a 15k dual attack double strike that's KO two of your opponent's battle cards that are rested. Pretty insane. I really, really love this card. I think it is really great for offense. And then lastly, uh, we play two of the Elite Force Ga Captain Ginyu. 
Um, the reason why we don't play four of this and we play four of the other one is just because um, even with the evolution of the reliable Captain Ginyu being on this card, practically what you want to kind of do is uh, move to a little bit of like a turn six, which makes the card incredibly slow. So if I'm like pressuring my opponent well and I want to finish them, this card may not be the card to do it. However, if this card comes out, it is busted, okay? When you play this card, choose all Ginyu Force Battle cards. Those cards gain plus 10,000 power. He will be at 35,000 and double strike. So like everything on the field gets plus 10,000 power and double strike if it's a Ginyu Force card. That is just absolutely crazy and insane. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, pretty much it. And, uh, I think that him being a 35 K double strike is definitely like really good and, uh, super awesome. Uh, but he wraps it up for this deck profile and, uh, let me know what you guys think about this deck profile down below. I wanted to profile a monocolor deck and I hope I chose a good one for you guys. It is pretty budget and cheap. Like you can get, I think this whole deck for like $30, including its promos. So, um, yeah, huge shout outs to team takeover and P2 collectibles. Um, and I, this is TCG Discussions, a.k.a. Marcus from Team Takeover, signing off. See you guys next time.